one of the questions we receive from individuals regarding extension exercises. People think they can do any type of uh, finger, wrist extension exercise and it's going to help develop this posterior group um, after they perform their you know, stretches for the anterior portion of the hand, the flexor group. So I see a lot of places say, well, why can't I just use a rubber band? Now, uh, as you watch, I'm opening and closing my hand. Sure, that's providing resistance to the extension muscles, but in order to keep the rubber band from sliding down, see how my um, wrist area right here between the thenar eminence, the hyperthenar eminence, how it's beat in. It's very compressed in there. This can actually exacerbate carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms. Now see, where I want to be is in an open position right here, but look, the rubber band slides down. A rubber band is not an efficient way by any means to eliminate carpal tunnel syndrome. It is not an efficient extension exercise. If you don't have any, you know, if you don't have carpal tunnel syndrome, I guess you can go ahead and do this. Um, not that it's going to do much, but again, you want to open up the hand in a free position and what happens is the band just comes down. Again, that is why we go to FlexStand, simply designed for this purpose, which is again is to, I can go ahead and perform extension, completely open my hand and spling the fingers in a posterior position, opening up the carpal tunnel, stretching the flexor group, and relieving compression on the median nerve within completely eliminating the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. So this is something that you want to utilize over a rubber band uh, by far. So next time what we'll do um, is we'll answer somebody else's question regarding exercises, questions about stretches, and different syndromes. So until then, uh, good luck.